some of the themes in this show are not unlike what we're kind of living right now with this uncertainty, you know, people are losing their faith as a result of this isolation and these unknowns. Well, two themes. Number one is going out into the dark of the unknown. Like you said, it's almost, um, it's almost like going out into the walking dead without the zombies. That's kind of the vibe <laughs> I feel. It's very gritty. But when you're outside, everything is, you know, whether you're in Los Angeles or Chattanooga, Tennessee, or anywhere in the country, um, different states, different areas are handling this situation completely different that we're going through this pandemic right now. Mm -hmm. um, but in the dark, when, you, when you're going out into the woods and you're looking for things to try to find out why we're here, like the dark, at the beginning of the episode, people don't know if it's a person. They don't know if it's a thing. They don't know what the dark is. Mm -hmm. And you, you quickly realize the dark is the bad dude. He's the guy. He's trying to take over the world. And so when we're going out, we don't know what we're not looking for. So we're trying to, could it be that? Could it be this? We don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, when you equate that to what we're going through today, it's like, you know, you have a virus that's floating around. You know, I mean, you don't know. And some people are, are, are pro, some people are against. But my whole thing is, whether you love wearing a mask or not, I would hate to get you infected. Right. You know, if I had something, I would just hate to give it to someone, even if I didn't know I had something. So I'm going to do what I can just to try to protect you. Um, another thing that's kind of correlating with this is there's a scene with my wife and my son having dinner. And my son says, Daddy, why do I have to have, uh, why do I have to have all my homework done in the basement? Mm -hmm. Which is because we have to stay secluded which is a perfect analogy of what's happening today with all of our kids. I have a, a kid who's a sophomore in high school and, and I feel for the seniors that were last year and I feel for the seniors that are this year that are having to end their school days in this kind of an environment. It's just, it's really sad. Did you have any idea how relevant this None. is going to None. be? Not at all. Uh, it, it, you know, when Chip was, and neither did Chip, I'm sure, you know, none of us knew this, but when he wrote this and it came out and we all started talking about it, we just go, are you kidding me? Really? This is what's happening right now? Um, you know, you say, wow, what a great, you know, what a great vision you had. This is phenomenal. Good job. But, you know, it just happened to be this way and um, people are starting to see it. And what I, what I like about it, it has a great message behind it all. But it's just so gritty. I've said that a few times before. It's just really gritty. I love that. Yeah, you know, the Bible talks so much about how we are dealing. We're not dealing with flesh and blood, right? We're dealing with these dark powers. But it's not something that we're comfortable with talking about. And this show is kind of bringing that reality front and center. There is some biblical talk in there. But if you compare that to a lot of the shows that are out there, um, what I what I'm not a big fan of is when you have a show that is so much heavy handed talk. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, then let's open up the Bible and talk about it. That's not what people do. But that's a lot of movies are like that. Now, there is a market for that place. I think there's a, a huge market for that. But that's not real. Yeah. The dark is more realistic. It's more mm -hmm. it's, it's like um, I was fortunate to be part of a film called The Case for Christ. And what they did very well in the case for Christ is they took a very, very complicated subject and they made it real. Yeah. They didn't sugarcoat it. And that's what I think we need to see. We need to see those things. And I think that's the best way to attract people instead of saying, well, you have a faith-based film or you have this. Once you put that label on there, people go, not all people, but a lot of people go, eh, mm -hmm. because they've seen other faith-based films if you just put a project out there that's just a good project that has faith lined in it mm -hmm. then allow the secular audience or any audience to watch it and get their own viewing from it get their own perspective instead of trying to force them into well on page four we have to get a biblical verse in or on page 13 just show me don't tell me yeah. I think that's the biggest thing I'm getting at is I like this I like people to show me don't tell me because when you tell me and you force it, you're taking away the audience's appetite to be able to think for themselves. After they watch this series, what do you want them to be talking about? 
I hope they talk about how real it is. And I hope they talk about how uh, unique and different it is because it's, it's not a cookie cutter, you know, beautiful uh, mini series. It's just, it's really about a handful of believers that are going out into the depths of hell, so to speak, to try to find, uh, try to find out, well, everyone's on their own missions. You'll find out in the, at the end of episode five, but they're trying to find out the truth. They're trying to find out why they're here. What's going on? Why, why did they get put in this position in the first place? And um, the more they start thinking about those situations, that's going to open them up into learning more about these characters, which um, looks like hopefully we'll be doing a season two, but depending on how COVID works, we'll be doing a season two, which is going to completely throw everyone's ideas of what they thought about these characters out the window because now we're really getting deeper the first five episodes really just sets up what's happening and then the next five episodes the next five episodes really gives us an in-depth look at who they really are so i i think people um i just want them to think and have conversation whether whether you're a christian whether you're not just talk because i think the more people can talk and sometimes agree to agree and sometimes agree to disagree that's healthy but when you talk and then you fight because no one wants to give, that's not healthy. Yeah, I do think this series gives permission to doubt. I mean, it gives permission to the Christian to doubt when, when, when a pastor is doubting. Okay, then it, this is a safe place for me to have questions as well. Um, and I think, I do think this series is going to spark conversation in a way that we don't see a lot in this type of thing. I hope so. I hope so, because the, the whole point of doing anything, art, you know, whether it's music, painting, you know, cinema, whatever it is, is to get a reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, and from here, we just want reaction from people to go, you know what, it might not be my cup of tea because it's, you know, it's maybe more violent than I'm used to. Well, but maybe there's a reason. Maybe we need to see what, because that's what the end of the times might be. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just another conversation for people to have. I don't know. Yeah. 